EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for September 20th, 2023. It is Wednesday, and if you like yesterday, you're going to love today and you're going to love tomorrow because both are mostly sunny days with very nice conditions and nice temperatures as you see above me. 72 to 78 is a spread today, very similar again tomorrow. And mostly sunny skies are going to dominate both of those days. The Wednesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by the KP Agency in Easton, Pennsylvania. The KP Agency is Easton's only woman-owned insurance group and is an independent brokerage specializing in Medicare insurance products. Turning 65 and enrolling in Medicare can easily be described as one of the most overwhelming and confusing processes. You are bombarded with ad mail and endless calls, and the information out there can be both misleading and unreliable. Why not use a trusted local professional to guide you through the process, and at no cost, the KP Agency can educate and enroll you in all of your Medicare-related needs. Visit them online at thekpa.net or give them a call at 908 909-7140. That's 908-329-7140. And please tell them Bobby from EPA WA sent you. They are the KP Agency in Easton, Pennsylvania, proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. So again, mostly sunny today, mostly sunny tomorrow. That's not the issue. What we're going to focus today here is on this weekend storm. And I told you in yesterday's video, when I went outlined this, uh, I went through a whole bunch of information about the difference between a regular low pressure system a tropical low or cyclone and a subtropical cyclone we've had the difference between the three explained yesterday i'm not going to go through all that yesterday this is, these are videos are archived if you want to get the explanation of that i'm not going to go through this every single day but uh, there is the potential for development of a coastal low or a subtropical system right down in here and uh, we know it's going to be there because it's we already seeing signs that it's there anyway okay? even though it's not really developed there's a there is a boundary that's sitting over the gulf of mexico and extends upward like this and at the tail end of that boundary is an area of low pressure that's there it's just very very weak okay and what it's going to do is going to start drifting up northward here in the late week period and it's a matter of timing and intensity of this particular uh, low pressure when it's down here, uh, just north of the Bahamas, what it's going to do, okay? You know, it depends on the eventuality of it, whether it misses us entirely or it hits us either in a small way or a big way. There's a lot of things on the table yet, which is really crazy. Uh, but, it, you know, I it told, this, it told you this in yesterday's video that we were not going to have clear answers most likely by today. It would be on Thursday. So Thursday's video forecast at least I'm hoping at that point. I mean, we're, we're right now we're within 96 hours of the start of this event, less than 96 hours. Uh, tomorrow will be less than 72. Uh, if we can't get it right at a day three forecast, and these models are still over the place, I don't know what to do. I really don't because, I mean, they're all in their, in their own little world. And uh, the GFS actually yesterday showed something what the European model had been showing, and they keep flip-flopping back and forth, and they can't figure out what's going on. So, we, again, we're mostly 73 into this week here. As I move this forward, uh, we can see this uh, development right here. Uh, this is Friday morning on the European model. The low center is right here. It's very weak. It's about 1,000, 8,000, 12 millibars, somewhere in between there, okay? So a very weak low-pressure center is sitting right here. Whether or not this becomes subtropical or not uh, is really a matter of semantics, uh, there is a, an upper-level trough that's sitting over the northeast United States here at this point. That's giving us our nice, refreshing, cool temperatures the next couple of days. So when it interacts with this, it could become subtropical, uh, subtropical or take on subtropical characteristics because of that upper-level trough. And the upper levels is remaining cold while we have a warm core at the bottom. So that's why you have a little bit of a hybrid system there, just to kind of paraphrase what I was talking about yesterday. And uh, so this is Friday on the European model, and it has a very weak low even on Friday evening. Now, if I go to the GFS, the same exact time frame, this is what you have, a stronger system further north, much further north, okay? So it's a little bit different. This one here is 1,004 millibars uh, just east of Jacksonville by about 75 miles as a low center. Here on the GFS, uh, you're east of Myrtle Beach here by about... 75 miles and a lot stronger well not a lot stronger by about six millibars so 998 millibars versus a thousand four on the european model so that is going to have implications on what happens downstream if it remains weaker and further south like that this can miss if it's a little more organized and further north a little bit faster 
then we're going to get hit, okay? It's just a matter at that point of whether we're going to be hit uh, with just maybe an initial batch of uh, some moderate to heavy rain and then going to just showery stuff after that point, or if it's going to be a deluge of rain where you can get three, four inches of rain. That's the upside. That's on the Canadian model, which is not pictured uh, in this particular image. But uh, we go over to the European model and show you what this does. Again, this remains weaker further south. And I move this forward here overnight. Here's overnight Friday night. Here's Saturday morning. It grazes the coast here with a little bit. That's about the, the northwestern extent of any precipitation. The bulk of this heads offshore. And again, this main low is still off to the south here. Uh, it is going to eventually come up here like this on the European model and follow that heavy batch of precipitation. And you can see that here. Here it goes right near the Dalmarva. And this is Sunday and Sunday night. But you see the interior this entire time is not getting anything. So it's very possible that uh, certain events that are going on that are very big, like the Celtic Fest here in Bethlehem locally, uh, the whiteout game against uh, Penn State against the uh, uh, against Iowa in State College is this weekend. A lot of people ask me about that, right? So, uh, you know, if you look at the European model, nothing to worry about whatsoever, okay? And that's because this low remains weak. The precipitation actually spreads northeastward instead of northward, largely misses most of the area except for the far southeastern coastal regions and that's it and just a little bit there and that's it anyway and then this uh actual low moves off to the north and east and is out of here uh and then we have a dry monday and tuesday with partly cloudy skies gfs though does not have that because they have that stronger low and it moves off to the north a heavy sloth heavy swath I keep saying sloth it's the second day in a row it's sloth swath of precipitation is over a vast majority of our region here with some heavier rain coming in here on saturday and actually starting as late as late friday night here on the gfs because this is faster of course and this is uh some heavier rain during the day here on saturday then it just gets showery after that point going through sunday uh with the trailing low but both of them affect parts of our region most notably uh far eastern pennsylvania south southeast pa all of new jersey and delaware here in this case uh so it's a different scenario and it's a different outcome. Whether you have plans for this weekend or not, uh, this is going to be make a big, uh, big difference whether you, these outdoor events that are planned are going to go on as scheduled or not. And we, this is what we have to scrutinize here over the next, hopefully, just 24 hours. I think by Thursday morning, we should have an idea of what's going on. Just to give you an idea what the Canadian is doing, very similar, uh, kind of halfway in between what the European model and the... Um, European model or European model and the GFS are showing, but it brings a heavier batch of precipitation, inclusive of more of the area. So this would be a region wide heavy rain threat here on Saturday. And then you got showers lingering in on Sunday. But all three are this doing the same thing where Monday and Tuesday are part of the cloudy days and that's it. So it does exit, but this could ruin the weekend. So which one's correct? We don't know yet. Okay. So just give me another day. And hopefully we have some kind of uh, agreement with what's going on here. Right now, it's just coming down to uh, not only position of that low and where it is, how fast it's northward it's moving, but also how strong it is. And that's going to dictate where the eventuality of the system is going to occur, whether that it ends up going over top of our region. Um, I don't know what just happened there. Let me just change this here. Uh, so when that low is down here, what they all show it developing, whether it comes up faster and goes all the way through our region with heavy rain and then heads off like this with the secondary low, or if it remains weaker down here, and then uh, most of this is going to be heading off in this direction, just clipping the shore points and that's it. So we'll have those answers for you here in uh, hopefully by tomorrow's morning's video. I would expect by that point we should have a better idea. But uh, either way, uh, Saturday is going to be a cooler day because of those clouds you're gonna have clouds at the very least i think uh temperatures are gonna be in flux depending on whether or not you have precipitation saturday if it's gonna be dry you might go back in the 70s instead of 60s but we'll see uh what happens with the storm track first before we start tackling temperatures on bpa wa meteorologist bobby marchers that is your outlook for september 20th 2023 have a great wednesday